The Wendy Williams Show. Started. It's time for. Come on! Weekend. I hope you had a nice weekend. I had an interesting time um, in the Hamptons. Don Lemon was my host. I love it at Don's house because he doesn't have regular TV. He has Apple TV, but he already knows how to set it up for me, so I never turn the TV off. I even slept with it on. I watched like marathons of that girl, and like there was all kinds of good stuff on TV. Anyway, so we go for. Um, First of all, I like it because I don't have to wear makeup. Nobody wears makeup out there. Like, makeup's not a thing. So, yep, there it is. Just... You just kind of go, that might be a little something left over from Morel's job from earlier in the day. <laughs> um, uh, but you don't have to wear makeup. And um, what was the next one that I had? Um, I think uh, your sneakers, maybe? No, that No, was maybe last. the ladder. Oh, there we go. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I don't like about the Hamptons. Like, Don's got his boat, and the boat is really beautiful. The boat is really long. It's really, I mean, it's got a living room, dining room. There's Don. But, <laughs> but back to that swell that you saw in the water. Okay. So we pull up, we're in time for our lunch reservations. Everything out there, you have to change your clothes at least three times a day. Yeah, yeah and the pit stop is going back to Don's, and then you, you de-sweat, watch TV, yeah. you set your alarm for whatever the next stop is. So, so, I'm looking at this right here, and they weren't able to get any closer to the dock. So I'm like, I am not crossing over that. <laughs> I am not doing that. I could sit here on the boat. I've got stuff to do. I've got people to call. I've got a nap to take. Are you serious? I, I'll order food. I'll tip well. From right here on this safe boat, I texted to Bernie, just my manager, just to be sure that it was safe. He's like, he was like, smart move. I got an insurance policy with the show, you know? They don't want me stretching over swill. Anyway, um, um, and then I, you know my pearl sneakers, the white ones? I told you I have the black ones. The lady was nice and she sent me the black ones. So, so while I was at Don's, I decided to uh, bring um, a fake flower ring to put it on there and add to the charms that she already had on. Plus, the pink laces weren't so much me. I wanted the black laces. So, uh-huh. But lots of time to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had a good time. I had gone to get, I tell you, I go a few times a year, I get all this blood drawn. You know, blood and your bone marrow are the only two things that will tell how you are. Mm-hmm. And so I went, and uh, the guy, the doctor, he spins the blood right away, and he tells me, he's like, I don't know what you're made of, but you're fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
And so the only thing that he told me is something that I always hear, and that is, you're anemic, which is why I'm always cold. Yeah. Even when it's hot, I'm cold. Uh, warm them up, by the way, James. I'll need them. Okay. Uh, Richard Branson went to space. I was happy for him. Yeah. I was. This is something I wouldn't do. This is something he's wanted to do since he was a kid. He threw three miles, flew three miles outside of the stratosphere or whatever to make it space, space, space. Um, he looks good. Uh, he's now asking people, uh, if you'd like to go, then that'll be $250,000. He's got over 600 people signed up so far. I don't care if I was gifted this trip. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so, at all. Um, but good for him. <laughs> now, the Real Housewives of Potomac were on last night. <laughs> I didn't tell you I ran into Joy Behar while, while it was in the Hamptons. Joy, Steve, and their dog. Okay. This was so good, because Don and I were at breakfast, and uh, you know, Joy's on the sidewalk, she's like, hey! It's like, hey, and I'm still like, I can't believe I'm part of this crowd. <laughs> like, not a part. Right. But, you know, You're there. Yeah. Uh, and what I concluded is that Joy made it very clear to me, it's gonna be very difficult to replace Megan. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Very, very, yes, I've got insider knowledge. That's good tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know stuff. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, Steve is so handsome and the dog is so good and Joy is like, how do you do that SH every day? She, look, she curses like a sailor in real life, which so do I, right? How do you do that every day? You get up, you go in, you do the shows, then you gotta do the promos and stuff and there's too much clapping, I can't hear the point you're trying to make. What's with all the clapping? Do you like them being back in the studio with you? I said, yeah, Joy, I do, but I agree about the clapping, but it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Mm In the meantime, Karen and Giselle wasted no time going after each other. Take a look. Well, we all know I can't stand Karen, so well, that's this feelings be... mutual. Me and drunk Karen will probably never well, be good. Okay. So I have decided that I'll just tell your truth, your whole truth, and Giselle, not nobody. Don't want this. You're, you're I'm drunk. True. You are a drunk. You're cheating. True. And you're hot. You're broke. True. Shut up. Just shut up. I'll, I'll spread it out over time. Don't worry. You know I won't tell it all tonight. Disgusting. I'll spread it out. You want to talk about your fiery box that's on fire and that's why you can't keep a man? Do you want to do that? Fiery, fiery box. box. Fiery box. You talking about her oh, Yes, she has a hot box. You know what a hot box is. Nothing a little penicillin doesn't cure. Um, what do I think? I like the new, I, I like that girl's boobs. Yeah. Uh, Wendy? Yeah. Now she's, she's explaining why she got her boob job. I'm totally here for it. Take a look. I breastfed all three of my children for over a year, and that takes a toll on your body. So this is one of the first things I've ever done for myself. Being a professor and being a commentator, you are supposed to fit into a certain box. People are putting, you know, their party over what is right. And I've always felt like I'm trapped. But now I get to be my authentic self. But she didn't talk about her booty implants or whatever that was. Cause clearly there's a before and after that clearly tells the story. And it's okay. It's okay. Oh 
So Karen's gonna be here tomorrow and she's gonna be here live in person and I'm hoping that we can get together and go out and have dinner afterwards, you know, yeah. Drake rented out the whole Dodger Stadium for a private date. Uh, the helicopter was spotted, spotted him and Joanna Lee. And there they are, I guess all the food is great. He got jerseys printed for them. And do you think that they charged him for this? Probably not. Even if they did, so what? This is what Drake does. I never realized that he walked on grassy high before he got in the wheelchair. Yeah. It was like, uh, <laughs> right, there's like three seasons of him standing and then five. Cause I saw that too. Yeah. When I was in the Hamptons. Yeah. <laughs> Classic show. <laughs> uh, Joanna said, and, and Joy was like, what are you up here, you got work done? What are you, let me see, let me see. Hey, what do you have, work done? I said, no Joy, no. Anyway. Joanna's son, Amari, stars uh, in basketball on Drake's friend's team, LeBron. Now, he's going to UCLA, and Joanna starred in something called Bringing Up Ballers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I would suspect that she calls herself um, an Instagram model. Yeah, and a baller's wife. Yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> this is his type. Good luck, Drake. I was very sad to hear about um, Erica Mena and Safari's new baby in the ICU oh. while Safari was partying like he had no care in the world in Jamaica. Oh. Now, look at Safari. Yeah, uh-huh. Erica's in the ICU. Look at him go. Uh, I don't care whether this is a taping of a reality show or just he's having fun or whatever, but you know, when your child needs you, you're supposed to be there for your child. This is why he, you are just no good, Safari. <laughs> Nikki was right. No good. And Erica, so you're trapped. You're trapped. You've got a sickly baby. You've got a 14-year-old and a 12-year-old or something? Yeah, oh, a one the, the other baby. A one-year-old. Sapphire is one, yeah. Sapphire. And so, Safari wanted to be in the delivery room. She let him do that. And then he flies off to Jamaica. <laughs> but, but you know what, Erica? Safari does what Safari already did. I hope the baby's doing well. Good morning, Sus. Hi, let me see your sneakers. Oh, we doing sneakers again. You know, I like the, I like the 11s a lot. You know, I show up with the 11s a lot. That's my favorite Jordans. Why do you say we're doing sneakers again? Like, you're here for music and sneakers. No, nah, no, nah, well, yo, hold up, hold up. Because you, you didn't do sneakers for a while. I'm glad you're doing sneakers again. I love it. <laughs> Anyway, Jennifer Lopez fans think that her latest video is directed at Alex Rodriguez. However, I don't. I think that Jennifer looks terrific. She's arguing. Look at the outfit. Panty shorts. Look at her go. Like a gang member. Uh-huh. Yup. Uh-huh. And then, and then I love the song. It could be a cute summer groove or whatever you call them. Uh, some of the haters who hate that she can still do splits and you can't. <laughs> that she lost her baby weight and you haven't. That she's still 100% gold star beautiful and you aren't. Leave this girl alone. I like the song, do you like the song? I do, I really like the song. I liked it from the beginning. Uh-huh, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Put it on a loop this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Something else I watched this weekend at Dawn's, and I had no idea that she was back on TV. 
uh, coming up. But uh, Kendra Wilkinson, remember her from the... Uh-huh. The former Playmate is now selling houses. It's gonna be a new six-part show. It's called Kendra Sells Hollywood. Well, I love this. Because as I'm watching Kendra on top, I'm looking at that ex-husband or a present husband of hers. I'm like, ugh. She tried to forgive him, then admitted that she just is not over it. She tried to, you know, just settle down, and she admitted, you know, I still like to go out and be young and have fun. And so what if you just want to sit in the house? So I don't know where their relationship is right now. Um, I hope he's not on this show. I hope the baby's not on the show. They are divorced. divorced, so I think he probably is like out of here. Does he have a new relationship? Oh, I actually do not know that. Maybe I should follow him. See what and happens. And follow up again. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Kendra recently joined Douglas Elliman. So this is good, because that's a very, very reputable firm for real estate. And she passed her a real estate exam on the first try. Uh-huh. I've always rooted for her. I hope she dresses like this when she sells the houses. You know? Some people say, you know, you gotta use what you got to get what you want. Yep. <laughs> and she's learned how to be smarter with money, and so good for you, Kendra. Yeah. <laughs> Kendra Sells Hollywood will air on Discovery Plus this fall. I don't know what that is. Okay. Streaming like Netflix and Hulu and all those things. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what was really good last night on TV? I was severely distracted from Potomac. Vivica Fox, that Joneses thing. Ha! Ah. Clap if you watch Joneses. Uh oh. Uh oh. It. I'm gonna watch it later. <laughs> anyway, there's some photos from the Sex and the City sequel. They're out. People are upset that they think that uh, Cynthia Nixon is not bringing it with the red hair. Oh. I like the I like the uh, gray ha hair. Oh. Clap if you like red or better. I like that. Also, SJP, she uh, has the gray coming through her roots. But they're women in their 50s, enjoying life and the future. They're not back in their 30s anymore. Yeah. And they're certainly dressed the part of how they dress. And then Charlotte still looks like Charlotte. And I have nothing to say except for whenever this comes on, I'll be waiting. Yeah. yeah. I really like Valerie Bertinelli and I can't stand when people um, get mad at her about her weight. And I don't like it when she feels the need to even address it. She's done it so many times now that I can't even tell you on, um, on her Instagram. So she went to Instagram to confront her internet trollers for criticizing her weight. Take a look. Someone decided to point out that I need to lose weight. Because, see, I, I don't have a scale or I don't have clothes that I'm trying to put on every day and I don't have mirrors, so I don't see what's become of me. So I needed that help to let me know that I need to lose weight. You're not being helpful. Because when you see somebody who has put some weight on. My first thought is that person is obviously going through some things. Because if I could lose the weight and keep it off, I would. Where's the compassion? You think a stupid little comment like you need to lose weight. <laughs> Not helpful. She's so nice and she's been through a lot. She recently lost her ex-husband, Eddie Van Halen. 
her son, their son together, Wolfgang, tours with uh, the band still, and he has weight issues as well. But you know what? She said something that I don't believe to be true. She says, if you see somebody who's putting on weight, then obviously they're going through something. Not necessarily, uh, Valerie. How about they just like food? <laughs> I'm doing a project later on today with DJ Ralph McDaniels uh, from Video Music Box in the office. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, that sounds Talking amazing. about the true school. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, clap it up, everybody. Yeah. We've got more great show for you up next to the Inside Scoop on Chloe's relationship drama. So grab a snack and come on back. Sharon Carpenter. Sharon, hi. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Some juicy stories. Not really. No. No. Not feeling it. No. <laughs> so let's talk Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian. A couple of weeks ago, you reported, mm -hmm. yeah, you reported how the two of them had rekindled their romance back in the fall, remember, mm -hmm. uh, just to break up again just the other day again, right? And this is after <laughs> Tristan allegedly brought not one, not two, but three different women into a bedroom <laughs> at a party that Drake was hosting, coming out looking very disheveled after the fact. There was Plus, a man in there too. There was a man in there too, there was. We can't forget the guy, <laughs> we can't forget the guy. And this was actually a day after he had taken Chloe out to dinner with their three-year-old daughter. True, uh, so disrespectful. Anyway, Tristan says it's not true, it's all lies, but Chloe broke up with him anyway. But did you guys see the photo, did you see the photo, Wendy, that Chloe posted on Friday? Yeah, she looks great. Right. Looking good, looking sexy. It looks great. In that, she looked amazing mm -hmm. in that two-piece bikini, outdoor shower, or well, the third was real in the comments, especially from Tristan Thompson, who left a bunch of emojis, including drooly face emojis. However, he was none too happy because he wasn't the only ex that slid into the comments. Lamar Odom was up in there as well. And of course, Lamar Odom was married, yes. Yeah was married to Chloe from 2009 uh, to 2016. Tristan let his jealous side show for the first time. This is how he clapped back at uh, Lamar. He said, God brought you back the first time. Play if you want, different results. And you know that's nasty, because when do you remember back in 2015? Is he threatening to kill him? Kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Because remember back in 2015, the near-fatal overdose that Lamar had? Right. He was found unresponsive at a, a brothel in Nevada. He right. made it through. Fans are not happy about that comment uh, from Tristan. They're calling him out, like, why are you being protective over Chloe now when you were running around cheating on her the whole but, time that you but guys But Chloe were likes the attention. Chloe's Chloe got to like the attention. Chloe likes the attention, uh -huh. yeah. I, I'm sure she, she probably does. Chloe, leave both of them alone. Please move on with your life. <laughs> So, you know, Tristan, Tristan kind of needs to watch out because Lamar, you know, he's training in the boxing ring. He just signed up to do another a celebrity boxing fight happening know, on I, October 10th. I got the call. Yeah, did you? <laughs> After pummeling Aaron Carter, so I want to see Tristan sign up and, and put his, his fist where his Twitter fingers are. What do you think, Wendy? Who would win? That would be good. That would be... We'd all watch, wouldn't we? Yeah. Who do you think would win, though? Chloe could be, be the ring girl. <laughs> yes. That's what we want to see go down, yeah. for sure. Uh, but here's a win for Tristan Thompson. So, uh, remember, he was being accused of fathering a child by another woman, uh, Kimberly Alexander, the whole time he was with Chloe. Uh, and Kimberly uh, called him out for being a deadbeat dad, saying, well, you <laughs> haven't been there for my son, uh, and requested uh, a paternity test, which he obliged. It came back saying, you are not the father. Kimberly wanted a second test. He said, OK, uh, let's do it at an accredited lab of my choice. Okay. Came back with the same result. Mm -hmm. Negative. So Kimberly accused both Tristan and the Kardashians of faking these paternity results. Uh, and then Chloe and Tristan filed a cease and desist. 
Tristan also filed a, a libel lawsuit and ended up winning uh, last week. He actually won $50,000 plus $3,000 in legal expenses. So uh, for once, Tristan was not lying. He did admit that he had sex with this woman uh, a number of years ago, but he was not the father. Okay. Surprise, surprise for some people. Mm. All right, <laughs> Wendy, so here's the other thing. You're not going to like this. Uh, so we're hearing from sources, uh, Kardashian sources, that Chloe is remaining faithful to Tristan. That despite the fact that they are no longer together, yeah, these sources are saying that uh, Chloe does not like people talking bad about Tristan, so probably not going to like this conversation, and that they may potentially get back together again at some point, which, you know, I could have told you that Tristan... <laughs> Tristan on the other... I know, we, we don't want to see it, do we? Tristan no. is working overtime to try to get back in her good graces and working on some sort of a grand gesture. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, allegedly is saying, she's never going to leave me because we have too much history together. Don't you just hate it when people say that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so here's a bit of a grand gesture, I guess. Uh, on Instagram, he wrote a message to Chloe for her birthday, obviously forgetting that Chloe had dumped him, uh, saying, thank you for being not just an amazing partner, mummy and best friend, but also being the kindest, caring and most loving human being I've ever met. Your love and spirit is contagious to all who've met you. Uh, thank you for always being there for me and putting our Yawn. family first. OK, so what's going, on, what's going on with Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde? Wild. Moving on to a more functional relationship. So, Wendy, you also uh, talked about this story back in January. Harry Styles I didn't like it, direction. but now I do. You didn't like it. You like Why it not? now. They're kind of a cute couple, aren't they? Uh, so, Olivia Wilde, obviously, the actress turned director, and the two of them uh, worked on uh, the movie Don't Worry, Darling. That's where they met and, I guess, fell in love. By the way, their nickname, can you guess what it is? No. Uh, their, their couple nickname, Wild Style. Yeah. <laughs> She's the cougar in this relationship. Yeah, she's, she's 10 years older than she's me. She's 10 years older. She's 37. He's 27 years old. They first... Uh, we saw them dating for the first time, holding hands at a wedding in January. Didn't hear much from them since then until just the other day. They are on a steamy... And I, I mean like it. ..steamy vacation uh -huh. in Italy. Look at that right there. They can't keep their hands... I like ..or it. their lips of each other. I like it. They seem like a couple really in love. Yeah, they're yachting, they're taking dips in the ocean. Harry's got his shirt off, which we never complain about, uh, that is for sure. They're drinking the local wine, they're visiting local towns, and they don't care who sees them uh, at this point. A lot of people weren't sure because of this 10-year age difference. They thought that this was just going to be a fling, but it looks like things are going really strong. And uh, Olivia was actually spotted moving her bags out of the home that she shared with Jason Sudeikis, her, her fiancé of seven years, right. her ex now, moving two, them two into... Two kids together. They have two kids together. Uh. Omar, who's seven, um, Otis, who's seven. Uh, and uh, Daisy, who is four years old, but apparently it's very amicable. They're co-parenting. But Jason Sudeikis, we hear, was completely heartbroken and devastated uh, by the breakup. But you know in Hollywood, heartbreak doesn't last too long. No. Uh, so now he's sparking his own dating rumours, and he's been seen out in the town with Keely Hazel, uh, who is his co-star. Oh, uh, she's cute. Uh, from Ted... Yeah, she's a British model and actress as well. Uh -huh. Co-star in uh, Ted Lasso. And they were seen uh, with his arm around her in New York City the other day. <laughs> Wendy's getting bored of this one, too. <laughs> But is it? What do you think? What do you think of Jason moving on though uh, after being so heartbroken over Good Olivia? Good for all four like of that. them. Good for all of them, yeah. right? Yeah. Thank um, you, Sharon Carpenter. Thank you. Check out her podcast. It's called Loose Lips on Apple and Spotify. Trendy at Wendy is next. Trendy at Wendy. Please welcome, excuse me, our friend Mikkel. Hi, Hi Mikkel. How you going? So what are we doing? All right, so everything we have here is from our friends over at Rue La La. Let's get started with that first item over there. This is the Linham Home Textiles Herringbone Pestamal Beach Towel Set of Two. Ooh. Check out, ooh, check out these luxurious bath towels. Here's the thing, you can use it as a bath towel, but it can also be a blanket or a sarong. They're 100% Turkish cotton. A I sarong. wish you guys could fit. A sarong, when you go to the It's beach. a little too thick for that. A little too thick? It's actually yeah. kind of like, wait, feel it. It's 100% Turkish cotton, you guys. It feels really soft. It's machine washable, and it comes and six colors that you can choose from. Let's, oh, how beautiful is that, right? There you go, how much? All right, normally retails for $196. For two? 
for two, a set okay. of two. Wendy watches, you're getting 80% off, just $37.99. For two dish towels. Great. Yeah. I smell fake diamonds. Okay, well, let's talk about the blow dryer. We're gonna come back to the diamonds. Oh. But what we have is the Cortex Beauty Women's The Blazer with diffuser and two clips. Mm. So let's talk about this blow dryer. Professional blow dryer. It's lightweight, it's ergonomic. It's got the built-in temperature controls. So here's what you get with the entire set. You get the blow dryer, you get the diffuser, and you get the two clips as well. Mm. I used this yesterday on my natural hair to straighten it out. Mm. It works on all hair types. Okay. It comes in four colors. It, work, it comes in four colors. You can get it. There are in blue, gray, black, and pink. Hmm. Stunning, right? How much is this? All right, normally retails for $199.99, uh -oh. but Wendy watches, you're getting it for 65% off, just $69.99 for the low There you go. Okay. Mm. Fake diamonds. Well, they're good diamonds. They're beautiful, you guys. This is a fan favorite. That's why we keep bringing it back. This is the Genevieve 14K Over Silver CZ Tennis Bracelet, you guys. I'm wearing it right now. And just look at this gorgeous tennis bracelet. Yeah. I like the metal detail here on the side. You can dress this up or dress it down. It goes with any outfit. I love how Wendy has her jewelry stacked. You can do that. I'm not well. wearing these, though. You're not wearing these? No. Well, this is all I can afford, so this is what I'm going to get. It all comes right. in three styles that you can choose from, 14 karat white, yellow or rose gold. So let's talk about the price. They normally retail for $160, but Wendy what? watches you're getting it for 81% off, oh. just $29.99 for this. <laughs> okay. It's cute, right? Okay, let's talk about this. This is the Heat and the Click Hammer NRG Deep Tissue Body Massager. Now, bring the spa to your home with this body massager, you guys. It has the variable speed settings. So what does this do? This helps to alleviate stress. It helps to sort of loosen up those tight joints, those knots, any of that tightness that you may feel. Oh like my gosh. you've been working all day, right? Doesn't it feel good, Wendy? You have no idea. Right? How much is this? All right, so I just want to point out that it does have the speed settings on here so you can control it. And it comes with the six different attachments on here. I'd rather have this than Turkish towels. I mean, we got a little something for everybody here. Come on. Now, these, this massager normally retails for two, y'all should feel it, it feels so good. Normally retails for $299.99, but Wendy watches you're getting 79% off. It is just $59.99 for this whole body massager. Wow. Wow. It's nice, right? Right. It's really good. Oh, here's that thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, this is also a bestseller. That's why we keep bringing it back. Yeah. You know, it, this is an often neglected area, the neck. It's from a brand called Lacour Paris. It's the wrinkleless neck device. We absolutely love this. It uses two settings of magnetic heat, and it really helps to lift and firm that area around the neck, which in turn gives you like that smooth, nice appearance. And but you gotta start size. doing it early. Like if you're 18 watching our show, mm -hmm. get this now. That's so true. Yeah. 18 or 50, doesn't matter what your age is. It's portable, so you can take it with you when you're going on vacation. Or it's you also very expensive. It, well, it normally is, but not for Wendy watches, because they're smart. Normally retails for $2,000, right? But Wendy watches, you're getting it for 94% off, just $119.99. Thank you, Mako. Thank you to our friends at Rula Law. Get these deals before they sell out. Go to wendyshow.com. Ask Wendy is next. Before I actually saw Joy Behar at, at breakfast at the Hamptons, I hear, who's the colored in the bimbo? I'm like, Don, what's about to happen? And then I see, jo Joy is Joy, that's all. Joy is Joy, you've got to understand that. The colored and the bimbo. I'll take it. Uh, anyway, time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? Happy birthday. Thank you. What's your name, where are you from, how can I help? My name is Kim, I'm from Orlando, Florida, and we both turned 57 this year. Okay. Um, my, <laughs> thank you. My, well, I went natural two years ago. I did the big chop twice, and I love to wear wigs. My daughter Passion made me a beautiful wig to wear today. Uh -huh. But my husband, okay. he calls my wig that thing. I didn't wear my wig today because he called, he, he, and I, I like to change it up. It's a fashion statement. How can you convince him lovingly that it's just a statement? They, I think you just did. 
no, I, but how can you, you don't want to walk around, you don't want to walk around the city and he's looking at your hair like, oh, that thing. Yeah, well, um, maybe the one that your daughter ma made no, you wasn't... No, it's cute. Okay, well, look, husband, um, it's just hair. She loves you. <laughs> High passion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> my name is Jordan, I'm 22. And a couple years ago, my friends and I from high school started this band. And, but once I started dating my girlfriend, things got a little weird. You know, over the pandemic, you know, things, you know, communications continued to break down and eventually I started my own solo project. <laughs> a lot of people, I feel like, think I left, but I was kicked out. Is this something I should like address or should I just let it go and just move on? Let it go, move on. That's what yeah. I think too. Okay, good Thank luck. Thank you. A band. How you doing? What's your name, where are you from? I'm Rhonda, I'm from New Jersey. How are you doing? Hi Rhonda, how can I help? Listen, I, I am here with two of my best friends today. Okay. We've known each other since kindergarten. Aw. There's actually four of us that are really close, but only three of us have been hanging out lately because the fourth person um, can be kind of negative and when there is something positive to say, it's all about them. And how can we give constructive feedback that we're just not feeling that? Um, after you finish this trip here today, you get together with her, all three of you, and let her know exactly how you're feeling. Maybe she doesn't even realize she knows what she's doing. You know, sometimes people don't even realize. And if she doesn't make a concerted effort, then don't hang out with her. All right, no, thank you. For that. Yeah. Um, how you doing? Hi, I'm Isabel, I'm 20, I'm from Bayside. How are you doing? How you doing? <laughs> um, I went through my friend's phone the other day. She doesn't know this because it was open and I saw her texting my boyfriend. <laughs> the, text, the texts are pretty questionable and I don't know how to confront her about it without making it awkward. Well, we repeat at three o'clock today on Channel 9 and I would suggest that you have the TV on. Um, you are no friend to our friend Isabel. What are you doing texting her boyfriend? And by the way, boyfriend, you are no kind of boyfriend to Isabel, because you know what? You're the one with something to lose. Hi, Wendy. How, how you doing? How you doing? Okay. I'm Zandria, I'm from Philadelphia. Hi, Zandria. I am here because um, a bunch of our friends, uh, you know, we're close to a group, and one of our girlfriends having a celebration for her daughter's graduation. But she didn't plan, doesn't have it going on. And um, now she's trying to, she's very overbearing. She's trying to do this Zoom, you know, party. And we're just not feeling it. And so, I mean, should we attend the Zoom or should we just say, girl, this is tired? <laughs> Tell her as soon as you get back to Philly that she's got to stop with the Zoom. You need a backyard. You need balloons. Yes. You need a celebration. Yes. Is she a mother? She's a mother and we're so proud of, uh, we're so proud I'm not. of graduate. I'm oh, oh. Cause you don't forget, you don't forget the big celebration. I know, a celebration, not a Zoom. Right. I'm over Zoom. I agree. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, um, we'll be right back. <laughs> Time for Pop Quiz, let's meet our player. What's your name, where are you from? I'm Cherise from Harlem. How you doing? How you doing and happy birthday. Thank you. So here's your question. Who won best male athlete in this year's ESPY Awards? LeBron James, Tiger Woods, or Tom Brady? Tom Brady. Yep. A $100 gift card to Shoe Dazzle. We'll be right back. in Brooklyn, you're my eye candy, Ava. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Hi, Wendy. I Hi. love a coat dress. Thank you. Thank you so much. Talk so about I... your look from head to toe. So first, I want to keep it classic with silver jewelry. I'm like a silver person. Mm -hmm. Then I know you love pink, so I decided to do a pink blazer dress. It's belted, of course. Wanted to keep it snatched, you know. <laughs> and then finally, I just matched it with some black open-toed shoes. Yeah. Your hair looks good too. Twirl around. Thank you. Yep. 
on TV, but also making TV. Come see how it goes down and be a part of my live studio audience. You had fun, right? Yeah! <laughs> Go to wendyshow.com, sign up for your tickets. I wanna thank my guests today, my co-host, my studio audience. Tomorrow, from the Real Housewives of uh, Potomac, Karen Huger is in the studio. I got you with the hot topics. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy, bye-bye. <laughs>